Alright guys, welcome back to Son of Scotland TV. Massive game tonight in the SPFL when it's Hearts taking on, believe it or not, Neil Lennon's Celtic. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but yes, it's going to be Hearts taking on Neil Lennon's Celtic. Neil Lennon just appointed the manager again of Celtic yesterday after Brendan Rodgers, in my opinion, who is a fucking Judas, just left <laughs> without hardly, <laughs> no notice, like no nothing. It was like Leicester wanted him, and then in the space of 24 hours, Rodgers was gone. He had no interest in the, the treble treble, he had no interest in the 10 in a row. He was like, Premiership, mere money, fuck it, I'm off. Can you blame him? Who knows? Uh, let me know what you think down below, whether Rodgers made the right decision to leave. Whether you you know, you don't like Celtic or you like Celtic, it doesn't really matter, but let me know. What do you think? Do you think Leicester's a better job than Celtic? But regardless of that, it's about the match preview tonight, and in my opinion, this is it. This is the biggest game, I think, of the season. With, for all teams, I think this will decide the title. And I generally do believe that. I think if Celtic can come to Tynecastle tonight, and get a win, then I, I think the league's over. The gap is currently 8 points. Um, by Celtic winning tonight, it means they will at least maintain an 8 point gap. Uh, unless Rangers obviously do not beat Dundee, then the gap will obviously increase in Celtic's favour. But I think if Rangers are going to start you know, clawing back that 8 point gap, it has to start tonight. I mean, Tynecastle is probably one of the hardest places in the league to come to. Celtic have just lost Rodgers, so if they can somehow come through that and pick up three points tonight, it'll be a massive boost to their title chances, and obviously it'll be a, a, a massive shot in the heart for Rangers. They probably are expecting Celtic to drop points here tonight. I mean, Hearts, after struggling for a few months with injuries, appear to be somewhat back to their best, albeit the last couple of games have been a bit flat lost to Mullerwell, they've drew a couple of games in a row now, so I mean the last few games like for Hearts haven't been great, but before that they, we did put on a solid run, so I think that I think we've got a chance, uh, Hearts have only lost once in their past six home top flight games uh, only losing to Dundee in January, so I mean the form's decent, like, but it is not great uh, Celtic have lost two of their past three away league games against Hearts um, so th there you go I mean, that, that's a pretty positive stat, so uh, the last three games Celtic have came with 10 castles have lost two, while well, they lose an or two tonight, and uh, Celtic's Scott Sinclair scored 12 goals in his last 14 appearances in all competitions, so his form appears to be pretty good. And uh, since losing against Rangers in December, Celtic have won their past seven Scottish Premiership fixtures by an aggregate score of 18 to 1, so you can see Celtic since losing to Rangers definitely have upped their game, they have improved, and there's no doubt that they're the form team again, they're definitely the favourites for the title, but like I said, if they are going to drop points, they need to start dropping points soon, and uh, Tynecastle is one of those places you would expect them to drop points. Neil Lennon's coming in, Rodgers is gone, there must be a bit of uncertainty at the moment within Celtic Park, and I think Hearts do have what it takes to get a result tonight. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw, I hope Hearts get the win, I really hope we get the win. And uh, who knows, man, if there's no goals scored, maybe there'll be at least a few coins thrown anyway, so who knows. Hopefully it's a fun, interesting game, and until next time, I'm going to say 1-1 hearts. Let me know your predictions down below, and until then, peace.